We also have a look at what the political scene looks like in different areas of Jefferson County. 7 News reporter Zach Grady tells us about a county legislature primary, a heated Henderson issue, and a new mayor for one village. Primary day is set and should be busy in Jefferson County. 2023 is an off-year election, so no state or federal races, all local. This is where we're going to vote on our town supervisors, our village mayors, our trust, board of trustees, um, you know, highway superintendents, and a lot of these races, especially on the Republican side, are competitive primaries. Petitions need to be filed by 5 p.m. Monday. One race that will be decided on primary day, June 27th, is for Jefferson County District 10 legislator. For the first time since taking office in 2013, Jeremiah Maxson has competition a Republican primary from Christopher Bulio. This is a chance for the people of District 10 to say, hey, we like him, let's keep him, or hey, you know, we want, we want a new face in there. Also catching the eyes and ears of the Board of Election, the ballot buzz in the town of Henderson. Henderson Town Council is, uh, is it pretty heated right now. Um, we've, we're getting a lot of chatter from there. Chatter over the planned expansion of Hovey's Island near Association Island. The project looks to be moving forward after a February vote by the current town board to lift a moratorium on town development. The list of candidates includes names of people opposed to the project. Someone whose name will be on the ballot, but for Clayton Town Council, not Clayton Village Mayor, Norma Zimmer. We got a call to make sure that we had our, it, there wasn't a, a typo in our, um, because everybody expected her to run for mayor. The Board of Elections says Deputy Mayor Nancy Hyde will run for mayor of Clayton. In the city of Watertown, there is a crowded field as 12 candidates have submitted petitions for the two council seats that are up for grabs. Zach Grady, 7 News.